Hey everybody, it's Hoenn here, uh, back and bringing you guys a ZU Ladder Live uh, commentary. So this is now early November 2020, and we got some massive tier shifts for the the lower tiers uh, post DLC two, um, and everything that was started off in OU trickled down but also this is on top of you know the, the normal tier shifts that were happening back in uh, DLC 1 and so what that means for a tier like ZU is that a lot of um, like even the PU mods and staples ended up dropping down to ZU's power level uh, here's the post that I had on it uh, Sunday or yeah, Sunday. So, I mean, it's a crazy meta. I think we had something like 14 or 15 new mons, um, and the power level to, for ZU just shifted drastically. And I think one of the biggest new first impressions is this sticky web format on top of rain and just HO, because we've just got a lot of new killers in the tier. Bufflin is huge. I wish I had a team made to show that off because I don't think I have any too good teams right now but it is incredible. Dreadnought is super scary. Phalanx is probably talked about as like one of the most fan worthy. Gorg Small is ridiculous. Mawile Marini you know as far as like defensive walls in the tier are awesome. I mean necessary additions for all these sweepers. Uh, two returning Savali forms, Galarian <laughs> Rapidash, I mean, uh, and like I said, webs with, with Shuckle, including some of the, the uh, ZUBL mods that are on band. I mean, it is just a powerhouse of a, uh, of a meta right now. A lot of fun. I'm loving it. I think th everything's kind of crazy. But I'll quickly go over this team and then I'll enter this game here. Sorry for my opponent. But... The Flink sets that I think um, a lot of people have been using are either Lumberry or Life Orb, and the coverage that you run on it has been, um, it, I would, yeah, it's pretty varied. I've seen, uh, instead of Sword Dance here, because this is a double dance set, kind of like no retreat Sword Dance, meant for wall breaking past stuff, especially with Lumberry, so something like Gorg uh, Large isn't going to be able to check this that well and fighting dark is pretty good besides you know fairies uh but if you wanted to hit fairies of course you have poison jab you have um zen headbutt for um uh, marini which is another mod that is one of its common checks but if you went the life orb set you could also have first impression you know to fit in with that coverage as well and you get what is essentially an all-out attacker with some really good priority. So my opponent leads Croc Rock. I've actually just played this guy when uh, warming this team up. Um, and Webb seems fine. I, mean, I am Mental Herb. And if he goes for Taunt, then I can Primal Gambit. As far as his Shuckle set goes, there's probably a little bit something better. I like this just because it's like almost a guaranteed, you know, Hadrid's coming up. Um... It, it, Shuckle is so bulky, especially in ZU right now, that it can um, afford to not have uh, something like like Red Card or um, a Berry, maybe even. Oh god, that didn't hit twice. <laughs> um, and the maybe like the title of this video or what I'm kind of exploring right now is low punny actually which used to be in ZU somewhat of um, a noob trap and the reason being is because Persian Galarian Linoon and Stoutland that pretty much outperformed it in um, in, in every way right its coverage was it's oh god okay that's specs <laughs> oh shoot all right yeah that's absolutely specs um i'm gonna polter and see how much a life or polter guys does the the shenotic 
uh, essentially, okay, that's awesome. Okay, essentially every other normal type kind of did Low Pony's job better with their coverage ability, typings, um, and glaring light new, and you know the dark typings pretty was pretty valuable for stab knockoff, right? Low Pony also not having knockoff, and uh, the same can be said about oh why see you can't wait. The same can be said about Stoutland when um, you know it has some pretty weak normal stab attacks as options or situational ones and no knockoff but at least it was just so strong and had some bulk to it and some really good abilities it was you know it was still very noteworthy um low punny doesn't have that but right now with the power creep kind of up and there's a lot more need for this you know high speed you know 399 is actually pretty decent on top of coverage that hits some of these new normal resistant Pokemon like Savali Rock and Lycan Rock and Gorg Geist, Gorg Small too, you know, Triple Axel is doing a ton more rather than, you know, um, Purgeon's knockoff. And, and essentially this was Purgeon at one point and then I realized, you know, I kind of want to have a, some trick or, well, in this case, Switcheroo support. And Choice Band Purgeon sounded okay, but what sounded a little bit better in this case was, um, Choice band, low punny. So we're gonna see how it works out. I still think it's kind of like on the on the um, edge of viability. You know, there's definitely still that remaining competition of those three normal types I talked about. But I'm, you know, I'm more than happy to kind of test this out and see how it works, and um, excited to see how it does. Yes. <laughs> so like in this case, this is where. Um, Sorry about that. So this is a case where we can um, maybe switch a roof. This is where Lil Punny has to rely on um, Mega Kick for damage. And <laughs> yeah, you can see it's it's pretty unreliable, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go Marini. And that's the one bad thing is that without uh, a better normal stab, it's just, you know, it's not the most fun or justifiable to put on teams. Uh, otherwise, that, that definitely would have done a ton. I don't know if it would want to KO. Lopony's pretty weak also, you know. Uh, a little stronger than Persian, but Persian has Technician, Silk Sark, usually boosted Fake Out and Double Edge to its name. So that, you know, usually more than makes up for its uh, lack of power in these situations. Wait, did I just sack that and go, oh, I'm not paying attention. That's on me. Okay, I got rewarded. I did miss, though, so. <laughs> uh, uh, so, I totally blundered there. I should have been paying more attention. Um, essentially, I would have went into Gorg, you know, Poltergeist did, and Persian came out, you know, whatever, it exploded. Or probably just power lifting. I'd be fine with dying. Because then the links could set up set up a sword dance maybe even first, um, and a plus two adamant throw trap I think when it kills both of those, it should. But yeah, let me continue I guess talking about the team. Um, Savali Rock here might not be the best Savali or even like the best sword dance user to add here. This is kind of. Um, a rendition of a, a an older Gen 7 sticky web playstyle where you're taking advantage of not only the dual um, hazards from Shuckle but also toxic spikes from Marini to kind of trigger the defog reaction or um, you know force hazard removers in and wearing them down with explosion Gorge guys small being really good and I used Gorgeist and ZU pretty well last generation, and now that it gets Poltergeist and Power Whip, I mean, it's a, I think it's a straight buff to the playstyle, but th there are some limitations here, of course. Um, I talked about Low Punny and, and its set, let's see, the Savali Rock, the, my favorite Savali Rock set right now is actually multi-attack flamethrower with U-turn um, and defog, so it's a defog pivot set, you know, offensive one. But multi attack and flamethrower, even like an uninvested four special. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, my AVs are whack. That was a mess up. 
Um, this is the this is the spread that it should be, <laughs> but the um, even an uninvested flamethrower is just so helpful for hitting mall wild double. It's like a lot of new mods, you know, that it's it's pretty, it can be pretty good for. Uh, if you could fit, if you wanted to go something like surf instead for um, uh, like ground types, I don't think it's that strong. It's not as valuable as it as it was for like Savali Ice to run um, surf on Stone Journey to hit Stone Journey because Stone isn't the most popular anymore with Lycanroc in the tier, and Lycanroc actually has, uh, at least in comparison, a respectable special bulk, you know, 85, 75. Um, so you're just better off hitting those targets with multi-attack. But yeah, having Flamethrower, all, oh, also for Gory Large, is, uh, it's not, it's not too bad. And Ice Q. All right, we're back, and we've got uh, another Phalanx team. Sorry for a little bit of the choppiness, as I'm expecting, just because little interruptions IRL, but no big, no big deal. Nothing going wrong. Um, another great lead for Shuckle. I'll try to be a little bit more introspective with this battle. The last game, it just was a, a rematch with a ladder player that I've had today, like I've said. But right now, his hazard control is Heavy Duty Boots, Mr. Mine. Pretty, pretty sure about that. I would hope so. And Gorg Small obviously isn't the best switching for that because of, you know, fearing Ice Beam. But surprisingly, deal with it decently well thanks to Shadow Snake being a one hit KO with Life Orb. Or maybe it's close to it. I'm maybe, I, maybe a Choice Band is a one hit KO, but it, does, it will do a lot. Uh, and this is a. <coughs> this is an offensive choice ban riot you. Oh my good gosh. This thing is strong. But what I was talking about Gorge Guys earlier because this is um, a free switch into it. Oh wow, this is a violate? This is either a violate or um um a choice specs or something. A choice scarf. Uh yeah, I would I would rather risk this being Choice Scarf and for me just to take the Rapid Spin. Well, actually, he might switch out because if it is Choice Scarf and he goes for Rapid Spin here or a Violet, then Gorg is just free anyways, right? Or he'd want to switch out and not really hit Savali Rock. Or if he goes for something, maybe Focus Blast. But I think Gorg um, here is a decent, so did the Violet. Yeah. So Gorg was a decent play. So he saw my Life Orb. And this is... Leftovers. That means I can go for Poltergeist here. I think I will. So, like, what I'm risking is a fall play, maybe a Poltergeist of his own. Um, I miss, you know, for Wisp. But let's just do a ton here. I think it's going to pay off because, yeah, I can still KO as long as I hit another Poltergeist. And my Lynx can easily set up and break this now with that requisite damage. Um, Phalanx actually looking like it's going to go uncontested, besides the opponent Phalanx. So the the nice thing about, you know, Defiant, of course, is that in the web's mirror, I can get the plus two, damn, I can get the plus two boost right off the bat. And if you were to be um, first impression, that's another great way to utilize that all out attacking the link sent I mentioned earlier, but this is a weird switch. And I don't know why he's sacking this thing. They much got to kill. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I'm burnt. Never mind. I'm playing like. Yeah, but still, I, I don't know why he why he'd go here. He's slower. Um. I mean, if I absolutely wanted to, I could preserve my gourd guys, but I, I think that just. Going for explosion, you know, who cares if he sets up? He's still slower than any of my fast mods. You know, just why wouldn't this be the play and then followed by a um Psych Psychic Fang just guarantees it. And mime can't come in because it's a violate. A violate mime is not the set in this meta. I could see Scarf, I could maybe see I could definitely see specs if you had um some really good hatch support. 
but without, uh, you know, if Mr. Mime is the rapid spin user of the team, aka the hedge remover of the team, then a violate is not the way to go. And I think my opponent disconnected, but this game kind of was a wrap. I'd be worried about his riot chew with if it be if it was heavy duty boots. Doesn't look like it necessarily was. I'll start all over another game. Other ways to deal with full inks besides Hayes Morini, which I am. Um, it could, you know, defensive Shenotic actually is a decent, a decent pick there because of how well it could take its normal coverage. But if it does run um, Poison Jab, then you could be in some hot water. I think that uh, Scarf Mine with Psychic has a it's like a roll, maybe at the rocks to when it KOs or revenge killing. But you could also switch into close combat if you predict it. Uh, I never really like mine too much. There, there's, I, th I mentioned defensive gold guys as like situational. When it comes to like hard counters, Kukumaku and um, I think Musharna. Musharna is just so bulky on the physical side on top of having... Um, Stab Psychic, obviously, to deal with it, and usually going to be running Culberberry. Or if it's like on a, um, I want to clear this. Because I should live for one. Yeah, I have Sturdy, anyways. It's more so that I get to, um, lock it into a not so fun move. Then Sticky Web comes up, and. Stealth Rack. So he's got one more. This thing, I'm almost certain, dies to a plus one. Um, or a plus two uh, multi attack. But yeah, Pukumaku and Misharna are probably like the best. If you wanted to run one of the, the um, defensive ground types with Roar, or Whirlwind, Gabite, Bukkaz, Mepre, those are you know good phasers along with Marini. Stop it. Wait, what? I went for multi attack? I thought I, I thought I went for sword stance. Oh man, I'm out of it. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking about going to my own marine and setting up um, T spikes and then letting it take the spore. Yeah, it should not get the tilt back as expected this turn. Um, there's a little bit of a. I don't want to call it an error, but what I want to call it is like the opposite of synergy in Knockoff Marini and Gorg Small. Because there's going to be situations where Marini that, you know, doesn't want to stay in on ground type attacks, but, or even like even special psychic type attacks, and Gorg can afford one psychic and revenge kill with, you know, Poltergeist, Power Whip. But if I went for Knockoff on, um, on like the Shenanic, then I can't. I can no longer uh, polter it. I almost want to polter right now, but I'm like I'm too afraid. Yeah, so we stayed in. So that ended up being safe. End of the day, yeah. If I power whip to Shinotic and it got um, poison, that's pretty good too. So I definitely have to preserve this, but Marini should be safe for at least one turn to haze, right? First impression. That life work now. Okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about this then. Now I'll fire off the knockoff. Um, see what he wants to do. He goes for DD. Okay, that's not a problem at all. I think I need to recover you, followed by Haze. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is strong. So uh, the question is do I want to keep this for? Double, or do I want to rely on like Phalanx and Sil Rock to deal with it? Or should I sack Low Punny? I don't want to sack Low Punny. I want to see it put in some work. And it will actually, you know, uh, it, its Mega Kick is kind of unresisted and Triple Axle can be pretty decent. But I, I kind of need a switch in here because I think Marini's really valuable. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think Low Punny is. The, the biggest liability here and even if this was like Persian or um, you know Galarian Lightning and Choice Band Galarian Lightning is uh, viable set it just um, 
it still would have been the sack in this situation. So that did 46. Uh, let's just see how much flamethrower does. I doubt it does more. Shenanigans, has, yeah, Tax got a lot of special buff. I'm more so just showing off that, um, you know, what I am. And I want this gone because then Phalanx should have a good time sweeping with all this setup that I've got. I can put Marini to sleep right now and then, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll do my hook back then. So he's just gonna energy ball and then what, drinks at me? Okay, I'm gonna remove, okay. Oh, Virgin comes in. And it's Silk Scarf, probably. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna heart Gorg. You know, if he goes for a knockoff, that's a great play on him. But, yeah. Probably actually knockoff was kind of obvious. I don't even know why you went for a fake out. You're just being chipped. Go Shenotic. Uh, eventually, if this continuation comes up, I want to say I'm winning. Oh, actually, yeah, this thing still gets leftovers. Um, and that's doing 26. Mm, this might be a roll. Like, it's close. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to hope this goes. Yeah, it does. All right, awesome. I'm going to say, like, I, that, that was a continuation that I was going to be winning. Um, regardless. And now, first impression, when it wants to come my way. I think Silver Rock is just my best bet. I doubt he'd hard outrage. Expression if I want it. Thing is powerful. Um, and Savali Rock. Oh yeah. Now he's just so he's keeping the priority, which I think is kind of odd. The Lynx is gonna have a field day, but Savali Rock is doing well on its own. And this is another case where Flamethrower is actually really helpful. He might be putting all of his eggs and uh how's your first impression do? Forty? Okay, so I have to get out. But I'm pretty confident in um, Savali Rock and having Hayes Marini in the back just in case something happens. And that ended up living, so we're really okay. I'll just explode. Doesn't matter. So Rock <coughs> resisting the, um, the fake out. But. You know, if, if double was body press and like rest, oh wow, wait, that does not much. I thought that did a little bit more, but let's see what it ends up being. More offensive or faster doubles, I should say. And by offensive, I mean more investment in the body press. Yeah, because that does nothing. Okay, so is this sleep talk? Yeah, that the way it is. So, hmm, this is gonna be funny. I wanna deal with this. Marini should outstall. It's gonna be annoying if I have to go for that, but uh, just eventually. Okay. That's funny. I don't know why. So, maybe he's gonna go for a knockoff? Yeah, but if I sack Silverock right now, I should have enough power to go into Phalanx um, and boost now. I should be okay. I should be able to break past it. And this thing is still... He's got three turns of sleep? Oh, wait, no. Why did I go for my retreat? Should I went for SD. I didn't think about that. Let's see how much two do it does. Oh yeah, okay, that's enough. All right, well, that's a GG. The Lynx is a monster, and when you kind of relied on Genotic as a check also to an offensive grass type and to um, like Savali Rock, it, I think it. Um, had in that game. Let me see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was switching to Savali Rock a few times. It's just a little too dangerous for it, and the Lynx can, you know, decimate. But that's okay. I'll be back with uh, another one. Probably one last one. Let's see how it, see how we go.
All right, we're back for the last one, and yeah, my opponent's got a really offensive, scary-looking team. I like it a lot. It looks like almost something I built uh, day one. I remember having a Vespa Queen and um, War Portal pivot team, and those two work really well. If, if there's um, a ZU good core thread, I would love to make a post about how these two kind of work as hazard and hazard removal and doing a lot for each other as pivots. So I'm not really afraid of Rapid Dash. I'll, I'll let it get a free attack. Yeah, move off before going for Encore. Um, he should know that. Hastel Veil is not the Aroma Veil. You know, that's so threatening. But, you know, preventing Encore and Taunt and all that. Uh, yeah. So this is where um, Lopunny is going to be, you know, doing a little something. I don't want to get a Lopunny right now. I want to try and preserve its health. We're actually going to trample Axel because that should do, you know, just the same. And if he wants to go into his Gore Dice. Alright, so he, he is max speed, he's speed tie. A lot of stipulations kind of running here. If, you know, I hit first or miss, and yeah, okay. That's alright, that's why we have Gorg in the back. Um... Low punny, you almost had it. Would have done a lot there, you know, having um, Rapidash out of the picture and, uh, you know, staying in, he probably would have went to War Portal as his main ice resist. I know if that's like Savali Ice. And so the, right now is the. Uh, I kind of have two options. I could either keep my hazards up with Explosion and then go hard into. So Ali Rock and uh, maybe set up and sweep, you know, potentially. Or I could go into Phalanx and get the Defiant Boost. But I, don't, I don't know. I don't, there's a, I think there's too many ifs right now uh, going turn seven that I don't really want to risk Phalanx and make a guaranteed explosion here as he stays in is pretty worthwhile. I mean, an opponent could have a slash probably expecting Phalanx. That'd be a cool. Adaptation that I never, uh, I had not thought of prior. That's between running or slash. SD is um would have been a little bit risky. I thought that after he went for air slash, he was just kind of stay in. He maybe would have predicted SD or just um, not bother with it. But apparently that that's between wasn't even default. Default with the uh, Spotty Rock, and I'm assuming that is a fast board dice, so it should come into it. Oh, and it looks large. Large. And I, I guess that's what I meant by like too many like ifs right now, and I wasn't too sure on like what the form was or what. Oh, the form was on here either. <laughs> but multi attack should still be the play, followed by a flamethrower. If I don't understand how multi attack. Okay. Uh, that was kind of weird. I wonder if he sneak. I, I mean, I don't know what I would say before he does. I wonder if that was like choice. Like that's not. That can't be choice banned. I'm sure it's strong enough to just kill on its own. So I'll let fracture take me down. It looks like it's a violite, maybe not. Um. Not life orb. I was a little afraid of the life orb, but I hope adamant phalanx outspeeds as, as fracture is adamant. I would hope. Otherwise, if fracture goes for dragon brains, just kill. Okay, it is actually um, fast, but uh, unless scale shot like crits or gets one too many, I should be okay. And Marini is also a good scale shot mist. Okay, that was in my favor. I think after plus one. Um, it would have been pretty unlikely for Scale Shot to KO unless it like hit a full five times or something of the sort. GG. Uh, I think that's all for this video. I think we showcased some of the early meta and how threatening the webs can be if you weren't preparing for it. Um, I want to say that yeah, this is the the ladder, and I think the ladder is still kind of adapting and figuring things out versus maybe the room tour that you might find um, 
a lot more uh, ZU experienced players have, you know, preparing counters for links and stuff like that. Low punting is a mon that I think, <laughs> I hope this video proved is unreliable, but, you know, has potential, you know. And I don't know if I'm going to put it in, like, a low or C ranked, or if I put it in a, um, or if I wouldn't rank it at all. I, I think it, I and mean, I hope this video did show some of its um, worthwhileness, though. And that's all, guys. I think I'll be back later with, um, you know, later in the month to see what the next shift gives us. But uh, thank you all for watching.